Now, I did promise all of you that I would keep you up to date in terms of what was going on for the um, wheelchair ability to go on the plane itself and get locked down. Now, here in the United States, we have All Wheels Up organization that's trying to put, you know, and organize and, and, and work with the different organizations to get a seat uh, type style in which it can be, you know, flipped up and then the wheelchair backs up and we can, uh, they can um, strap them down. In uh, the UK, they also have an organization called Air for All. And they are also working uh, over there uh, in with Delta because Delta had designed an initial model and that needed to be revamped a little bit and tested. So the, 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 the steps were to design a model, then um, make sure that the model was, was you know, firm, steady, safe, all that kind of stuff, and they needed to uh, practice with that model and test it and then apply for certification. Well, I have some good news here, and uh, I will post the link so you can read the entire, entire <laughs> I can't talk this morning, the entire uh, article. So uh, the, the good news, it gives a whole bunch of information about the different styles that they have been testing and the improvements they're looking at. But then, you know, at the bottom, and this is it in the UK, consortium members, Chris, member Chris Woods confirms to RGN that the consortium is planning to achieve TCO certification by the end of 2024 or the beginning of 2025. I don't know what TCO stands for, but um, I'm sure it's, it's you know, part of the process of applying for the certification to the authority. So, reviewing the seat in a preview on the Delta Flight product stand at AIX, it was clear how much interiorative work had gone into the recliner version. So there was a non-recliner version and a recliner version. And how much uh, re uh, read across there is to the economy equivalent. This is incredibly impressive work and the entire Air for All consortium deserves every plaudit for the quality of the solution, which all expand safe confident and comfortable travel to an almost incalculable number of wheelchair users. And that's true. And personally, I also want to thank Air For All and their efforts and their hard work in uh, cheering on Delta and giving in their input and their ideas uh, for this, this model. So there's a lot in this article. It's a long article, so I will leave the link so you can take a look at the models that they were working on. Uh, you know, they have the, the skeletal bone model in there and then, you know, the changes they made, et cetera, et cetera. So it's looking very good. Um, I just have a question for Air for All uh, and for All Wheels Up. You know, there was a comment from, uh, there is comments coming from members uh, wheelchair users that some of our wheelchairs are a little bit bigger than uh, than the usual so you know because they're complex power wheelchairs and they're you know depending on the size and and things are a little bit wider than other wheelchairs so I'm sure that will come into play as well there was one member that um, had high concern because his wheelchair alone weighs 600 pounds. So, you know, that also will have to come into play at some point. Uh, I want to assure all members that they, I'm sure the, the type of wheelchair and the size of the wheelchair is being uh, considered. And I see some models here in which they uh, have to lift up both seats 
uh, and, and so there is enough space for a wider wheelchair. So they're still working on it, folks, and at the end of this year or the beginning of next year, we should have the first models out uh, on the market, and hopefully we can begin to use them. So I just wanted to let you know where we're at. So the UK is going full speed ahead and will obtain their certification very soon, hopefully, so and their uh, permission to use this type of uh, uh, chair in the, um, in I know you're not seeing the pictures. I might be able to post one and I'll, I'll see if I can to post this picture in which they will lift up a seat. You know, it's a regular seat, but when there's a, a wheelchair uh, user, they will be able to lift up the seat and then the wheelchair user can back into um, the, that area and then they can buckle them, them down. So uh, it's, all, it's all good, it's going forward and uh, that will uh, help us all in reducing uh, these uh, issues of being dropped and, uh, you know, and being dropped or being, you know, having all these kind of difficulties. My question for All Wheels Up and Air for All is how we're going to get the wheelchair uh, from the walkway into the aircraft and from the aircraft back into the walkway considering the fact that sometimes there's a space, considerable space, between the, um, the airplane and the walkway. Uh, and even if they're, you know, together, you know, there's got to be some kind of bridge that needs to happen, I think, uh, for the wheelchair user to be able to get through and over, you know, that transition. So I'm hoping they're, they're keeping that in consideration you know, not only with the chair, but um, also when um, the wheelchair has to get on or off the aircraft. So that is it. I just wanted to be short and sweet. Uh, thank you again for Air for All, and hopefully we'll see something really soon uh, that will help us uh, be safer when we are flying.